<clears throat> hey guys, welcome back to the vlog and welcome back to another live stream. This time we are live streaming with Seth here. Yep. Seth, how's it going? Good. Hey, you know what we should do? What? Well, before we before we ask this question, this is a really important question. Before we get to that question though, I want to just address the title of the video. Seth, why don't we just hire somebody? That's a good question. To dig our well. That's a good question. Why don't we just hire somebody to build our house for us? You got any answers? You got any? <laughs> did you know I was going to ask you that question? <laughs> Uh, yeah, kind of. Oh, kind of you did. Kind of. Did we rehearse it? No. <laughs> no. All right. So that's the question. Why do I, I got to change this chair. You tell them why we don't. You tell them what you think. Well, when it'd be cool to have the experience and it also saves money. Hopefully we do it right. <laughs> okay, good. I think that those were, those were my two thoughts as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Oh. Drop down in the live chat where you're from. I'd love to know mm -hmm. where you guys are viewing us from right now. Where do we have 20 yeah, people? so tell us where you're from, and uh, that'd be awesome. We're in North Idaho, but you probably already knew that. All right, so Seth so says, one, it's cool to have the experience. Number two, um, oh, because it's cheaper. Yeah, yeah, right? Hey, your, your neighbor, Builder Bob. What's up, neighbor? All right, Builder Bob. California. <clears throat> I think those are, those are basically... Those are basically my two uh, ideas as well. It's good to have the experience, right? To be able to learn, um, to be able to learn so many new skills, right? To be able to learn with Seth so many new skills, right? How many tools have you learned to operate so far? Quite a bit. Quite a bit. Yeah. Like a drill. Drill, chainsaw, splitter. Yeah. Uh, circular saw, the skill saw. Uh, yeah, I did that. Uh huh. Uh, the, hammer and nails a little bit using little the nail bit. gun. Yeah. Using the, the oh, who is it that um, helped me screw like over a thousand screws? Uh, me and who? Uh, me. You, right? He is an expert screwer now. <laughs> yeah, that thing, we did man. so many. It took so long. Right. Why don't we just hire somebody to do that? Would you be an expert screwdriver? Um. <laughs> If we hired somebody to do that? No. No, right? We wouldn't. He wouldn't be, and I wouldn't be. And we would have also spent a lot more money. Right. And like driving nails, just say, right, something that's totally simple, and you would probably think anybody could just drive a nail, right? No problem. You know, if, if you've never really driven nails or you've never done it very often, it's not as easy no. as it looks. You know, yeah. we started building our solar shed back here. Where is that thing? Where is it? Oh, yeah, that guy right there. Oh man, it was terrible. It was embarrassing how many nails I bent over doing that. But by the time we got done building our floor system and pounding like a thousand nails by hand, I was really good at driving nails, man, I tell you. So, you know, there's a lot of money, right? We're on a super tight budget. Um, if we didn't do it ourselves, we wouldn't be building, right? I mean, that's just how it would be. We just, we couldn't afford it. And so we're doing it ourselves. And another reason I think that Seth didn't mention is um, is uh, the fun of doing it. Yeah. You know, I mean, you know, so, so, so take like our wells, right? The wells that we dug, we dug down 18 feet by hand, right? <sighs> Turning that auger right down, right up here by the house. And we didn't hit water. And, and some, of, some of our comments were like, man, you know, it wasted your time. You know, uh, why don't you just hire a well company to come out and drill it? It, but it wasn't a waste of time. It was fun. And it was like a challenge. Have you ever dug a hole straight down 18 feet into the earth? That's pretty cool. You know, that's really cool. And so to be able to pull all that out and see what's down there, you know, like the different cool. layers of earth and all of that really great experience. And in my opinion, not a waste of time. So um, those are some of the reasons why we don't just hire a contractor to do it. But let's talk a little bit about um, let's ask what some questions that you guys have here and we'll do some some shout outs here from Australia Faith Fi Faith Fit Fi Fam. Whew. I'm kind of wondering what that means. But anyway, how's it going? Nice to see you again. You were always in the uh, comments and um, I really appreciate that. I really do. Thank you. Me and my wife are building ourselves too. That's sweet Celtic Tennessee family. Does that mean you're from Ireland or something? 
That's really cool. Let's jump up here to the beginning and see where some people are from. What do we got here? I saw someone from UK. Oh, from Brazil? Oh, that's cool. What else we got here? Uh, Ridgecrest, California, the UK, Maine, sweet, um, Tennessee above Henderson. Oh, really? Jackson? Sweet. Wait, Did you know that I we live? Maybe so. <laughs> Did it say Jackson? No, but it's Jackson above or below Henderson? It's above. Might be Jackson then. We lost them here. Man, we're, we lost all the comments. We didn't lose the comments. I just lost my place. Right oh, yeah, above Henderson, Tennessee, above Henderson. That's so cool. Like Penson or um, Jackson, maybe. Grouse Road. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, yeah. Florida, Indonesia, Surabaya, Canada, oh, that's cool. Jakarta. Hello. Hello, Jonathan. How's it going? Home, oh, holy living. Oh, question. What tools have you utilized most looking to buy for my DIY? Well, um, they're actually probably in the, they should be in the description of this video. Um, but tool that I've used the most Probably the most often, see, every day of the week, is this guy right here, man. There's a link down in the description, or at least there should be. This is a Kershaw knife. And um, it is, I have carried this knife for years, literally years, like whew, 10 years probably. Um, I did lose one and had to buy another one, but I've never broke one. Um, the tip, you know, it is a little bit, it is a little bit on the thin side, but I like that thinness because it gives you a little bit of precision cutting, I think, when it's when it's nice and thin. Um, but it holds an edge really good. I don't have to sharpen it, but I don't know, once every three weeks or so, I get around to sharpen it, maybe once a month. Um, it holds an edge really well. I use it every single day for all kinds of stuff, right? Like cutting food, um, opening boxes, trimming tape off of things, trimming pipe, um, just anything that I need a knife for, this is my go-to knife. That's highly recommended. Um, the other tool that I always use, let's see if we have one here. We've got two of them. Your tool? Yeah, I think I took off, I, um, we came back from church and I didn't put it on my belt afterwards, but it's, um, it's a SOG multi-tool. That's all should be down in the description as well. Um, super handy tool. I like it way better than the Leatherman. I know lots of people like Leatherman. Leatherman's probably the most popular. Gerber is popular too, but I like the SOG tool. It has like a gear action when you open it. I'll go grab it. Seth, entertain him. Why? Doing what? <laughs> I don't know. Pick your nose or something. No. No thanks. Just gonna wait for you. Okay, he's coming back now, guys. Yeah. All right. <sighs> okay, I'm back. You know, we lost the comments. I don't know why we lost the comments. Yeah. There we go. There we okay. Go. So this right here, guys, I mean, you could kind of well used had it for a few years now um actually i added a couple of rivets down here because i didn't like how long it was so now it fits tighter on my belt but you don't have to do that that's just my personal preference um anyway this is the tool open it up i'm in eighth grade holy living holy living this is the tool right here and what's cool is you can kind of see the gears right in here so it has a lot stronger grip than a lot of other tools anyway that's another one and then we use a lot of battery operated Ryobi tools. They're also down in the description below. So those are the tools that we use the most. And a chainsaw. Chainsaw, definitely. If you're cutting firewood, you need a good chainsaw. Long time no see. Yep. Imagine acre wood. Oh. All right, let's see what else we got here. Um, that was a really good question though. Let's see, building off grid, let's see, question. Oh yeah, there you go. Um, from the UK. Real life skills, good job. Yeah, that's right, real life skills, real life applying of math, right? How many times have I asked you to figure out how long, right, a rafter needs to be? Every single time we go to Home Depot. <laughs> Normally like four times in Home Depot. That's right, he's doing all kinds of math for us and he can do math really good in his brain. You know, he's in um, eighth grade. Yep. And what math are you doing now? Geometry. Geometry in eighth grade, homeschool, man. Make see. It's true. Unless it's Bad Unless you're bad parents, yeah. yeah. <laughs> then, then you got a problem. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, cool. oh, sorry. Um, we got to get back up here. Now we got lots of comments, guys. Thanks so much for all the comments. Okay, UK again. Japan, oh, awesome. Cool. From Japan, um, build off grid in Linden. Oh, Linden, Tennessee. That's sweet. Uh, Self sufficient and God powered. Yeah. Let's see. Hello, quality of life. 
Quality of life. Check it out. Are you on there? Can you see it? Um, it's backwards. Wait, uh, I don't. It should be back there somewhere. And the an Acre Wood. I can't see. All right. Well, anyway, they're on there. They're back there. They're back there. Imagine Acre Wood and Quality of Life. This is our YouTube shirt for North Idaho. First annual meet and greet, 2019. Um, Hidden Valley Homestead actually organized that meeting. Good Simple Living. Yeah, oh, Good Simple Living was on here too, weren't they? Yeah. Uh-huh, and they Where just... They they're, they're on there too. Yeah. Let's see, let's go back here. We might have to go forward. Let's see, are you aware of... Aircrete cement as an insulator. Aircrete cement. What well, you mean where like they they mix cement or concrete and air and it becomes like really light brick? Yes, I'm aware of it. The first time I actually saw one of those was in Indonesia. Um, where there's this brick sitting in a in a parking like lot on a parking tower, I guess. And um, I picked up this brick and I thought it was gonna be really heavy, right? Because it was like it was like this big. And I picked it up, it was like light, and it was like styrofoam almost light. Not quite that light, but it was super light. Dead. Huh? Tux, tux, tux is, is whining. Tux is stuck up on the house. Tux. He can jump down. You wanna go get him? Yeah. All right. So that's gonna go get Tux, because I know you guys all wanna see Tux too. But he climbs up the ladder and gets up on the house, then he whines because he can't back, that, back down, but he's jumped down a ton of times. Let's see. Um, I'm wearing the same shirt as you. That's sweet. <coughs> Good Simple Living Homestead. They're on the back too. Let's see. Um, cool. Thanks for the info. You're welcome. Um, wow. We live on Grouse Road in Sandpoint, just about a mile away from you. That's now public information. Hmm. Let's see here. Let's see, uh, remove. Sorry about that. Um, let's just not publicize that, okay? <laughs> How exactly where we live. We do have a lot, we do have security cameras up to, um, you know, to protect valuables, but we don't want to advertise exactly where we all live, right? Um, us YouTubers might like to just keep that private. Let's see. Um, let's see. What video editing software do you use? Um, I use Final Cut Pro. You don't have to use Final Cut Pro. iMovie works really good. iMovie on the iPhone, that's what we're using to record this video right here is the iPhone. But um, iMovie on the iPhone works really good. Final Cut Pro, those are what we use. But um, you have to have a Mac for that or an iPhone. So if you have a PC, I don't know, maybe somebody in the comments could reply what um, video software you use for a PC. Yes. Tuxerini, look, right there, there you are. Look, look. It's like, what am I looking at, guys? I don't see it. All right, let's see here. What video editing software? Um, no, my daughter, she is homeschooled, but she is a senior in high school this year, and so she's doing dual enrollment. She does most of her school here, and then she's taking a class at... Um, North Idaho College as well. Let's see. How have you guys been? We've been good. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. West Borneo. Wow, that's cool. Canada, Quebec. <laughs> let's see. What else we got? Indiana. Sweet. Uh, do you receive the rafters for the roof? Not yet. We have not. Um, be a couple more weeks or so. Yeah, we haven't got them yet. But we do have a new video coming out for you. Uh, we'll have a video tomorrow. It's a collaboration video with um, several of the channels that are actually on here that we mentioned so far. But um, we have a collaboration video coming out with them tomorrow. And then we'll be back onto the build Tuesday. Let's see. Oh, you use Premiere Pro. Okay. So Quality of Life uses Premiere Pro to edit his videos. Excellent software uh, to use. From what I've heard, it is, um, I mean, it's like professional grade software. I think there's a learning curve to it, but once you get good at it, right, you can really fly through your video, your edits with it. Um, but you're going to have to learn the software, right? It's not like iMovie where you just, you know, it's just super simple and anybody can use it. So, but Premiere Pro is, is supposed to be excellent software. 
Let's see, are you seeing any wildlife up there? Bears, lions, tigers, laugh out loud. Ha 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 We've seen deer, turkeys, crows, eagles, seagulls, lots of seagulls at Walmart. Um, woodpeckers. Woodpeckers, those are pretty cool. Big red yeah. head. Um, what else have we seen? Rabbits. Rabbits. Snakes. Yeah, I found a snake. Haven't seen any bears or mountain lions yet. We don't have tigers Pets. here. Yeah. Be cool if we had tigers though. Or lions. Well, we got mountain lions. That's not a technically like an Africa lion. Yeah. Right, like Simba or something. But yeah, uh, let's see. Premier Pro, perfect guard dog. Yeah, you know he does bark a lot. He, I think that's why we don't see as many animals, even deer, on our property because Tux barks at everything. Yeah. Except for Three Leg, his buddy Three Leg that comes over. He doesn't bark at him. He's a dog. Yeah. Why well, no? But he barks at other dogs. I mean, like, do they know that? Oh, three. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. So three leg is shows up magically sometimes. Yeah. And he's super quiet. He doesn't bark. He doesn't do anything. He just like walks in, looks around, eats some of Tux's food, <laughs> walks back out. It's like it's weird. It's a ghost dog. Oh. Um. Let's see. Seth needs a hat. I have a hat. He, you know what Seth needs? He needs an Imaginaker Wood hat. Yeah, that's what Imagine he needs. <laughs> Send me one because I want to buy one. Uh, <laughs> I don't have money to buy one. <laughs> I just play him. But yeah, Seth, uh, Seth could use a hat there. Yeah, or a haircut. A oh, that was the question I was going to ask. That super important question. What do you think? Does Seth need a haircut? It's a little poofy right now. Yes or no? Does Seth need a haircut? No. Or let it grow? Let it grow. Let's see what you guys have to say here. Um, I'm frozen. Mm -hmm. Let it grow. Oh, cool. Somebody was just going to ask us about the rafters. Uh, okay. Well, enjoy your work. Oh, in Indo. So it's actually morning in Indonesia, Monday morning in Indonesia. So he's got to go to work. That's understandable. You got to go to work. Yeah, I just went down. Right Let's there. see. Okay. So somebody's asking here in Indonesian, um, Labi channel, Labi channel. They're asking about the well and whether it's already finished. No, the well is not finished. Uh, we need to wait for equipment to try to to try to go down deeper with what we had. If you saw the video where we were trying, where we hit yeah, water, yeah. cut it. Look right there. No, but there's, Jacob more. Hey, Jacob. There's two that say "Let it grow." Let it grow. Can Let you sing it? Let it grow. I don't know. That's all I know. Howdy from Texas City, Texas. Howdy. There's Let's there's see. Some. Yes, he needs one ASAP. Uh oh. Hey. But Holy Holy Living says I like the curls. The curls will be gone if you cut it. That would be so awesome with no curls. Uh, let him choose. We are guys. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's why kids have parents, yeah. ma'am. No, but yeah, they have been letting me choose a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> like it used to be like you, yeah, cut it. Yep. I think I think we're gonna we're gonna let him grow it into a hippie hairdo and I would, have some pony have a ponytail a man bun. I would not let it grow that uh, that long, guys. Don't worry. Wait. Um. Why? Why a legend himself? What uh? What was I gonna say? Man, I forgot what I was gonna say. Anyway, uh, no, an army style would be no. cool. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. You guys were just talking yesterday. You're like David has long hair. Look at his hair. It's long. And what did he do? He shows up to church today with a buzzed head. I mean, like, more buzzed than this buzzed. Yeah, buzzed. Like, completely buzzed. See? Cool people cut that, their hair. That's David. <laughs> <laughs> this is me. I know. I'm just playing. I just love to bug Seth about it and play with yeah, him. Yeah, he really does. He calls me a lamb. He a little lamb chop. You know lamb chop, dude? It's just like lamb chop. <laughs> I'll be back. I'm just playing with you, man. I know. He knows yeah. we're just playing. I think he's gonna go get his hat though. You guys you guys made him self-conscious. Hi from New Orleans. Sweet. Let's see. Uh what's the thing behind Seth? Okay. This right here is um it's a barbecue or a grill. That's what we cook on. So anyway, it's a grill, that's what we cook on. Seth. Did I hurt your feelings? <laughs> no. No? Are you sure? Yes. Tell him I didn't hurt your feelings. <laughs> I 
already did. <laughs> All right. But look at my sideburns. They're so long. Yeah, they are. They, like, stick out. Dude, you can fly away with those almost. <laughs> it says, uh, quality of life says, hit that thumbs up button, guys. Let's see, what's the next project? Plumbing. Oh. Lisa says, let it grow. Yeah. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, what else we got going on? Okay, Short on the sides, long on top. That's what we were talking about. Yeah, we were. That's what he kind of wants to I've do. I've never had it like that. So, I mean, I might just end up cutting it like all just because I don't like it. But yeah. I think it would be cool to see. There if, was... you, if you guys want me to let it grow, uh, let it grow out, thumbs up this video. Thumbs down this video. No! <laughs> Thumbs it up if you would like it to um, grow. Who was that? There was like this like 80s, 80s rapper guy or something that had like really short it's hair and then up. it went like up like this. That's what you should do. I don't want a mohawk. I it's going mohawk. up. The likes are already at 32. Oh, though. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to have so many likes. By the I guess videos. quality of life wants you to grow it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah I go quality of life. Everybody's doing good. Um, <laughs> Sarah and Julie, they're actually down in Coeur d'Alene right now. So There's anyway. 35 likes now, quality of life. Let's see. Um, what do you think about <laughs> chillers versus AC? Hmm. Um, Okay, so I used to work in uh, industrial refrigeration and air conditioning before I went into full-time ministry. And um, if you're talking about the chiller that I know about, a chiller is basically no. No a refrigerator. I mean, it's basically an air conditioner, but it cools water. And then that water is circulated through a, uh, a coil inside the building, which mm -hmm. then cools the air. The warm water comes back out, gets cooled outside. And so basically it's one big, like, almost semi truck size is what we worked on. They were like semi trailer size or a little bit smaller than that, a small container size um, unit that was basically all self-contained, had a big water pump on it. And then you circulated water or water with um, antifreeze in it, a type of antifreeze. Anyway, it would, uh, it would circulate. That's, that's what kind of chiller we're talking about that I worked with. So anyway, that would be it'd be way too expensive and overkill for cooling a house, in my opinion. But I'm sure somebody's probably doing it somewhere. See what a sweet kid. Your daughter's the same age. No, my daughter is um, 16. She's driving. Almost 17. Almost 17. Yeah. We have 39 likes now. Sweet. Where's <laughs> Julie? She's in Coeur d'Alene. Where's Sarah? Uh, She's also with her. We can't wait for you, Jeremy, and the kids to get to Idaho. Oh yeah. Okay. Sorry. I thought he was talking to me. Um, where are you living right now? We're living right here, guys. Well, there's a tour video on our channel. You can see where we're living, our property. We're in North Idaho, Sandpoint area. Um, there was one right above it. Are you studying about building when you were young? No, I didn't really study about building when I was young. I helped my dad a little bit, like a little bit, build our house. But I got to see a lot, right? And, and I just... I paid attention. I didn't know I was paying attention at the time, but I paid attention and learned a lot by, by seeing how it was done. And then I paid attention to other things, right? Like you can learn a ton just by paying attention to the people around you and what they're doing. Like when you see a house being built, you know, stop by and just take a look and, and notice how they're doing it. Um, we got some books on building, but like, um, I mean, I'm kind of mechanically inclined. I worked in industrial refrigeration uh, before. And so I have some electrical knowledge and plumbing knowledge and, and plumbing as in uh, refrigeration plumbing, not like household plumbing. Um, but yeah, let's see. I think the long hair, oh wait, I think you had long hair once, didn't you? That's grandma talking there. I did. I had hair <laughs> down to my, back, middle of my back. If I had a picture, I'd show you, but I don't have a picture. Um, but yeah, I had long hair. That picture. <laughs> I know. I have my, my old driver's license with it on it, but it's in storage in California. I need to take a picture At grandma's house. So anyway, yeah. You're right. You're right, mom. <laughs> Thanks, grandma. You're right, mom. <laughs> and I, 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 and, I, I, and, I and I looked like a hooligan, too. I would not let it grow out that long. I, right. wouldn't, I wouldn't even let it get to my Ooh. shoulders. Lewis says, Lewis or Louis? Sorry. Says a ponytail. I'm not going to do ponytail. I mean, yeah. just for fun, if I could get it that long. Oh, but. swamp cooler. 
Swamp cooler or AC? That depends on where you live. If you live in an area where it's humid, then a swamp cooler is not going to work, right? Or an evaporative cooler is what they're also called. Yeah, those aren't, those aren't going to work in a humid area. You need to have low humidity, right? Like um, in a desert, they work super good in a desert area. Um, like Arizona, uh, you know, some parts of California, New Mexico, some parts of <coughs> like northern and western Texas. They're going to work really good in, in dry areas, but not so good in a humid area. They probably work pretty good here most of the year, but um, yeah, so they're good. And uh, my parents actually have one on their house, and it gets it really cool, like really cool. So, yeah, they work good. Um, whenever I cut my hair, I use a number three thing on the clippers, except for my calic. I use an eight for that. Do you have a calic? You have a calic in the front, like Seth, kind of, I think. Like right, this, like right here. Yeah, it's cool. That's kind of what we do, too. We cut it short and leave it long right there in the front when yeah. I cut it. But eight and three, well. Let's see. Do you still go to FHU oftenly? Um, no. I mean, no, we're, we're up here now. We might go there. I don't know when we're going to go back. I don't know. But no, not often. It's like... It's like 20 some odd hours away. Or 300, no, 400 bucks for a plane ticket. Round trip. Yeah, it's far. Let's see. Okay, that's a good question. Somebody's asking how much we spent so far on this project. Um, I don't really know exactly, but we are planning on putting out like a, a report on how much we spent. But it won't be until later, like late fall, early winter, maybe somewhere around the end of the year. We'll put together a report. And um, so that people who were thinking about doing something similar can see roughly how much this, this kind of thing costs. Uh, but it won't be for a while. <laughs> mullet. There you go. Do you know what a mullet is? What is it? It's where it's really long down here. Yeah, long in the back, but short everywhere else. No. Mm, I saw a guy at Walmart um, maybe last night with a really long mullet. Geothermal energy. Yeah, that'd be cool, too. Uh, man, we keep are people asking the same question, or am I just going over the same comments? I think you're going over the same comments. Over and Let's over see. Again. Are the woods from the forest free for the cutting? All right. So if you own the forest, yes. Like, we own we own oh, seven this. acres. Um, if you're from Indonesia, I don't know. I forget how many hectares that is. Somebody figure that out. And put it in the chat. Uh, seven minutes. acres is how many hectares? Anyway. Oh, maybe Seth's going to figure it out. Math man. Oh, anyway, so yeah, you can cut them, right? They're your trees. You can cut them. Uh, but in the national forest, they're not just free for the cut. Um, but you can get a permit to cut them. And so if you get a permit to cut it, I think... Um, well, I don't know about here, but when we were in Utah in the National Forest there, we paid $20 for four cords of wood. Four cords? Well, one cord is 128 cubic feet, I think. Um, just Google it. Um, so anyway, 2.8, 2.83 hectares. Thank you very much. There we go. 2.83 hectares. Yeah, so that's what we have here. But yeah, if you own them, you can cut them. If they're in the National Forest or State Forest, you need a permit. Um, and then there's rules like what trees you can cut, when you can cut, things like that. But they're really in it's really inexpensive. Um, something about making a cooler. Well, I'm not really concerned about a cooler. Um, it doesn't get super. I mean, it gets hot, but it cools off in that night here, right? Like it'll be in the 50s usually at night in the summertime, 50s, 60s, sometimes even down into the 40s at night. And so for sleeping. I mean, it's it's way cool enough as long as you have good ventilation in your house. You don't need air conditioning. Some people have it and like it, but you don't necessarily need it. Oh, our daughter's the same age. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Misread your comment. Okay. Um, gotcha. That's great. That's awesome. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> LOL. Laugh out loud. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, where's the church? Um, there's a link down in the description of the video to, uh, to it, to where it's at. 
but it's right in town. It's downtown Sandpoint, right by the library. It's the Sandpoint Church of Christ across the street, across, um, is that Division Street, I think, from the library. It's on uh, Cedar. Cedar and Division. Let's see. Oh, we need a like picture. That. We need a picture, Grandma. <laughs> yes, please. Send a picture, Grandma. <laughs> Let's see. Um, run a copper coil Wait. loop in a circle hey. in front of the fan. Oh, yeah. Hi, Jacob Moore. Where? Uh, one comment. One comment. Miss you guys. Hey, Jacob. Estes. Hey, that's cool. Yeah. I miss Estes too, Jacob. See how many square feet is your house going to be? It is uh, 24 by 40, so that comes out to like 900 and some odd square feet. 980, I think. And then we'll have a loft that'll be about a half of that. So maybe around 1300. I think we figured out like 14. Yeah, I know, but but I think we moved it some. Oh, okay. The loft it got a little smaller, I think. Okay. Uh, let's see, doing a good job. Keep it up. Thank you very much. From Fremont, California. Nice. Um, how much snow average there? I just checked that the other day. Uh, was it 50 some odd inches average? I forget. Somebody here in the chat knows that lives up here. Probably, but um, you could Google annual snowfall in Sandpoint, Idaho. I think it's 50 some odd inches a year. I missed one. I did? One. From Barbados? No, from Roaring House. Seth, there you go. Seth, when you grow up, do you want to build a homestead cabin, cabin or two. two? I don't know. Maybe. That's a long time away from now, so. That's right, huh? A lot of time to think about it. <laughs> Let's see. If the trusses are um, Gambrel <laughs> style. Yeah, I'm not sure what that means. But they're being upstairs. And and uh, the has a, that's called like a, some people call it a bonus room attic or an attic truss. That's what it is. It's like 14 feet wide and it'll be like eight, 10 feet tall or something. I don't know, I forget now. I have a picture of it, but not on me. 2.83 hectares. One Let's acre see. equals what you... 0. 0.4 hectares. Oh, okay. It's cool. And so I remember, guys, um, when we were in Jogja, which is Jogjakarta, Indonesia, for you guys that aren't from Indonesia, we were looking at land, and some of the land there in Jogja was like 500,000 rupees per square meter. Does that seem right to you? Is that? I think that was right, some of it. Some 400, 500,000 per square meter. <laughs> How much would that cost to buy seven acres of land in around Jogja, if Time that's the price? Time to build the Seth Man Cave. <laughs> Time to build Seth Man Cave? He's got a man tent. I'll show you that video That'll, tomorrow. Tomorrow you'll see Seth Man Tent. Hey, guys. Let's see what else we got going on here. Indonesia people slow to learn. Let's see. Time to build Seth Man Cave. Yep. Wait, hold on. Jacob said something up there. I'm from Lombok, Indonesia. Oh, that's cool, man. And then you Where do we get... Two. Okay, sorry. Where do we get our electricity from? We generate our own electricity. We have a solar from solar panel system. We have a generator, too, that we use sometimes, but not very often. Jacob, um, what's the last question? Uh, what is your T-shirt? Oh, yeah. So this is... Um, it's backwards, I think, for you guys. But this is the first annual North Idaho YouTube meet and greet with all these channels back here um, from around the area, not only just North Idaho, but Washington as well, and maybe some from Montana, I forget. Oregon? Maybe Oregon. But anyway, yeah. There was a lot. It's a bunch of, it was a, it was a, it was a meetup of, of YouTubers in the area. Yeah, I know one dollar equals 14,000 rupees, but how much would seven acres cost? Let's see. Is your road wide enough? Um, well, the, um, the main road, like, I'm not going <laughs> to say the names of the streets, but you know, Grandma, what roads I'm talking about. So you turn off of the pavement, then you turn on that first gravel road. Um, that road is good, right? But then our road is the same as it was. Um, but if you say you're coming, we'll get out there with the pole saw and we'll trim up some branches. <laughs> yeah. But the road going, the road like going down is good. Like on our property, 
to go Brittany to the water. and yeah, like Brittany, Sarah, and Seth did oh, a we, lot of trimming on that. We spent hours doing that. Days. Yeah. Yeah. Day, it's good. Days. It's good. I don't know that I take the fifth wheel down it, but it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Right. Um, what office do I call to inquire off grid building permit? Um, if you are in Bonner County, then you would, um, what is it called? A building plan, <coughs> planning, building and planning department, Bonner County building and planning department or something like that. I don't know. Just, just Google it. It's the Bonner County building permits, but you don't, it's called a location permit, not a building permit. And it's not special for on grid or off grid. You just need a location permit. Um, anyway, we have a video about that on our channel if you want to learn about building permits. Let's see. Um, while waiting for the trusses, why not build the stairs? We might. I don't know. Because for two, right? And, and, and have to fix it. So yeah. I think we're just going to wait until we get the trusses and then um, get the trusses set. Then we can build the stairs exactly where they're going to go because the stairs are going to go up in between two trusses. So we're going to have a four-foot gap between the trusses. They're going to double up the trusses on each side and there'll be a four foot gap and then kind of like purlings across uh, towards the top. Kind of like that, but maybe like long blocks basically. Um, and uh, it's going to go right up in between those trusses. I don't want to be an inch or two off or something. So we're just going to wait. But if you're talking about the stairs to get into the house, then that's because that's all going to be backfilled there. And so I don't want to build stairs and they have to tear them down and then just, um, you know, it's going to all be backfilled up up to like eight inches from where the wood is. Let's see if you can see it back there. Ducks. Where's the house? Nope, you can't see it. Ducks, come. Nope. Uh, nope, you can't see it. Come on. Up. So anyway, oh, that's why. Boy. Here's Ducks. Um, thank you. Hi, Birdie. Both the front stairs and the second floor stairs. Oh, yeah. So that's, that's why we don't build them. Now. Yeah. And the ladder works fine. I only almost fall hey, off Tux. of it once. Hi, Tux. <laughs> Hi, buddy. He's like, dude, what are you doing to me? I don't feel comfortable. <laughs> Red Poppy Ranch was not was not there. Um, Red Poppy Ranch lives hours and hours and hours, like 10 hours away from here, I think. He lives down in southern Idaho. We're in north Idaho. Um, pure living. Yeah, they live, they live north of us in Bonners Ferry. Um, I want to live in the USA. Lots of people do. Um, how do I make a permission? How do I get permission to live in the United States? Um, I would go to the embassy and ask them how, how you can get to the United States from your country. And, um, I'm, there's a process I'm sure. And so whatever the process is that they say, that's what I would do. Do not come here illegally. Don't. Let's see. Don't Hawaiian hillbilly. Don't Thanks for that. Hawaiian hillbilly. I got to go check out Hawaiian hillbilly's channel. If you guys literally play a real life prank. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, that's kind of true. How old is Seth now? 12. Turning 13 this month. You guys want to send me something? <laughs> <laughs> it's the 23rd. Let's see. Um, how hard is it to transition to off grid? That depends on how flexible you are. Mm -hmm. This is the third time now that I've lived off grid. Um, I lived off grid before Julie and I got married. Um, and then after we got married, we moved to New Guinea. And Papua um, New Guinea. yeah, Papua, well, not Papua New Guinea, but Papua Indonesia on the island of New Guinea. Yeah. We lived out in the jungle in a village off grid for uh, a few years there. And now we're here. So, I mean, this, it's not a, it's not something totally new, but it, it really depends on how flexible you are. Ooh, my mom says they're smoking their salmon right now. Ooh, that sounds Crescent good. Crescent City. That sounds awesome. They're up there fishing. They caught some big salmon, too. Oh, that's awesome. Did they send you pictures? Uh-huh, on Facebook. That's cool. Let's see. All right, what else we got here? Anything else coming up? Any other questions? Hey, Martin, will you make a farm for your supplies there? That's, I mean, that's the plan. Um, not like a big farm, but we want like to, you know, we're, we got a hope. Well, we just planted some berry bushes. Yeah. Some raspberries and blackberries. We got some from a uh, member of the church here. Yep. 
and we just planted those and so maybe they'll grow some berries next year um we hope to get a garden going for next spring and then um animals i'd like to have animals i think i want to okay. start off with animals mm -hmm. as in like say i want to i want to try lamb right mutton so get a lamb raise it up till it's big enough and then butcher it mm -hmm. and then be done with it right so like have it for a season and then if we want a pig get a piglet raise it up butcher it um and not like not go into breeding right away just do one at a time the yeah. types of animals yeah. i mean like maybe two like a, one goat and one pig or one goat and one lamb and raise them up and then slaughter them yeah and be you know be done with it so you don't have to feed them all winter long let's see there you go rick d had the answer for you about living in the u.s google it <laughs> it's kind of a lame i i can't really just say that. just google it but that is true man just it is true Google will have the answer for you. Um, good, simple living. Yep. Let's see. Thanks. Happy early birthday, Seth. Thanks, Holy Life. Um, does River or Creek near you? Yeah. There's rivers. There's creeks. There's a giant lake here. And they do have fish. Yeah, they do. Jacob, me and Sarah might come this or next year for camp. We're yep. not sure. Sarah definitely wants to, but I don't know if I can get jobs to. Jobs to? You, you got to make money? Yeah. yeah. I got to make, like, a lot of money <laughs> to go to camp, especially if no one's going to help me. Let's see. Um, are you going to go fruit trees? I hope to. Maybe we'll plant them this fall, but we'll see. Um, your other animal is sitting... The other little animal is sitting next to you. Me? You? Or, or Tux? Probably Tux. I hope it's Tux. Yeah, okay, good. Tried to post the ULR, but it won't let me. That's right. I do not allow people to post ULRs on my channel. Um, not because I think, Rick, that you will post something inappropriate, but because there are people out there that will. And so to protect my audience, because this is a totally family-friendly channel, right? Um... I want everybody to feel comfortable coming to my channel and being able to read the comments. And so that's why you never see any any swear words, any profanity in my comments, because I've got like, I have a billion filters on there to make sure that doesn't happen. So somebody go ahead and try it, but it ain't gonna show up. I'm, I can almost guarantee it. And you won't um, know it happens. <laughs> yeah, and so the um, I try to keep all that clean, but the link thing, that's because that's because people post things that aren't appropriate. Not not you, but some people do. So I just I just keep it that way. Um, blank 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 blank. Yeah, there you go. Um, let's see. Closest neighbor? Hmm. I don't know. Not that far. Two hundred feet. Yards. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. A couple hundred yards or so through yeah. the woods. Um, three, three years, years maybe. yeah, three years for Seth Jim to get his driver's deal. license. Yeah. How about fire protection? Yeah, uh, fire protection is something that that we are conscious about, and that's why we're clearing the trees around where we want to live, and so like thirty feet away from the house minimum, right? You want to have fuel knocked down, and then um, there's like certain there's like different boundaries, right? Of of fire protection away from a structure. And so that's something that we want to include. And uh, we've got a lot of trees to cut down, a lot of trees to thin because it's so thick that if a fire was to come through here, it could just climb up the branches. They call it a fire ladder, right? And so from the ground, it would get up into the low branches and then pff, up into the crowns of the trees and it would um, wipe, out. wipe it out, man. It'd be terrible. So yeah, yeah um, not, not leaving piles of brush around, right? Somebody was asking about why we while we're planning on burning our brush or the limbs that we cut off, we pile them up and we're, we're waiting for winter to burn them. That's because if you just leave piles of brush around, those are a real fire hazard. And um, they'll be dry and super fast to um, mm -hmm. catch on fire. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, that's a definite concern up in this area, fire. Let's see. What else we got? USL. Good call. 
Oh, you are you are else. Yeah. Uh huh. Thank you very much, Simon Knight. No, but he asked, "What is a USL?" Oh, URL. USL. I know, but I don't know what a USL is. I think oh. it means URL. Oh. Good call. Oh, but what is it? Oh, it's a link. It's a link. Yeah. So it's called a U URL. If that's what you mean, a USL. I'm not sure what that is. Why are there no new videos on Pop Martin? Pop Martin is my Indonesian channel because I'm too busy. Too busy to to do that. Hopefully, though, this winter we'll start making videos on Pop Martin again. Um, I understand safety in your family is an utter priority. No. <laughs> Getting the job done is a priority. I mean, safety is important, <laughs> right? Money's but not the utter priority. If it was the yeah. utter priority, we'd all live in a little bubble, right? We'd never drive our cars. Um, you wouldn't really want to get out of bed, but man, you couldn't stay in bed because then it's not safe because you'd be getting too too heavy. You wouldn't have any exercise, but then when you go outside and exercise, might you might fall down yourself. and hit your head. Man, yeah, safety is not number one priority. Anyone's um, life. <laughs> but it is important for sure. Yes. That's like, um, if you ever ever watched Mike Rowe, he did a TED talk about um, you know safety third, his saying that he's got safety third. Well, safety is important. But he tells this story. You should go watch it. I'm not going to tell the whole story. But he tells the story about when they were filming the show for Dirty Jobs. And he was on the uh, crab boats up in Alaska. What is that called? Uh, Deadliest Catch? I think it's the Discovery Show. But anyway, they were filming there. And he was talking to the captain. right? And he was talking about safety with the captain. And um, he said, the captain said, my job is not to get you home safe. Or no, my job is not to get you home alive. My job is to get you home rich. If you want to get home alive, that's on you. So it was it's a cool story. You should you should watch it. I, you know, it's you need to watch it yourself for the whole thing. But uh micro safety third TED talk. Are there any dangerous animals like wolves or grizzly bear or something else? So there yeah, in the area there are. In the area, but bears not bears and coyotes. Two-legged vermin. What? Sasquatch. No. no. Yeah, they're in the area, but I don't. We don't see them. Uh, mountain lions, but we haven't seen any. Yeah. Any mm -hmm. advice about going off grid? Yeah. Okay. Here's some good advice for going off grid. Just try this. Try it for. Um, try it for a day, maybe first. Then try it for a couple days. Just try to go as long as you can. Go outside of your house. Turn off the main breaker. And then figure out how to live without that breaker on. If you have water plumbed into your house, which you probably do, go ahead and turn off the main meet the main the main um, valve for your house. Turn off the water, turn off the electricity, and then figure out how to live. And do it for like a few days and see. That'd be fun. That's That'd be like a fun same. experience. It's close to the same. No, yeah. What do you? You gotta have so to go find water. Different. Okay, fine. <laughs> just try that. Yeah, but That's we already had stuff to help us before we even got here. I know. But you have to think about it. <laughs> right? You got to think about it. And then if you just turn it off for a few days, it'll cause you to think about it. And you'll be like, okay, now where do I get water from? Well, you can buy it at the store. You can bring it home. Right? You could yeah. go someplace where you can get free water. Go to a neighbor and get water from them. I know that some of these, I think at least one of these YouTube channels on here uh, sometimes has to get water from their neighbor, you know? So uh, I think that would be a good, a good experiment. Jacob said something, but I lost it. Let's see. Um, when did you use your generator all night to turn on? No, we don't. Um, we have run the generator since we got our solar up and working. We've run the generator maybe three, four times probably, I would say. Typically, we just run off of our batteries for the lights. And we don't leave the lights on all night. So, you know, when we go to bed, we turn it off and it is dark here, man, pitch black. Mm -hmm. But we have like these little solar lights that are motion activated. So if you go outside or like the dog runs around or something at night, mm -hmm. then it turns on the lights, right? Uh -huh. So when you walk out and the lights come on, if somebody was to walk into our camp, the lights would come on. Um, and the security cameras would pick them up 
and then there'd be mayhem. Sometimes if it's really windy, things will be blowing around and the lights will keep coming on. Yeah, it's that's really true funny. too. Let's see, how do you get broadband internet over there? Yeah, we're live streaming off grid, right? How do we do that? Well, we have internet up in a tree. Let me see if I can show you here. Okay, let's see here. All right, you see this tree right here? And let me see if I can point to it. This, where is it, man? This yellow rope right here. If you follow that all the way up into that tree, uh, there's a box up there somewhere. I don't think you can see it though. But there's a box up there and that's how we get our internet. And we run power up there from our solar system to power a, a router, a Wi-Fi router up there. And it gets its internet from up there. So it yep. broadcasts internet to our property. Somebody's asking about the water well. Water well is on hold for now. We need equipment to get that going. Could you text me sometime the name of, of the YouTube channels around there? Oh yeah, sure. Um, how about this? Um, you guys, if you're a YouTube channel and you're in this area, tell um, John J. To that you're a YouTuber in this area, just put it in the comments here and um, that ought to work. Put it like, um, yeah, put it in the live stream. Just say that you're a YouTuber, right? It won't let you post a link to your channel. So just say that you're a YouTube channel in the area and um, it should be good. Let's see, video is frozen and stopped playing. Oh, that's a bummer. Hopefully it's yeah. not for everybody. We seem to have a good connection this time. It hasn't. Yeah, it's really good. Let's see, how are you gonna heat your house? With wood. Yeah, we're gonna heat it with wood. We have. We have a ton of wood. We have at least four cords now, I think. Or yeah. almost four cords. So we got a lot of wood. Nothing better than hanging out with your pops and doing stuff with him. Guy time. <laughs> While the girls are out shopping. Let's see, do you have a termite problem there? That's, that's another really good question. I was surprised. Um, I've not seen one termite on our property. But carpenter have, ants. Yeah, we have carpenter ants, but I haven't seen any termites. So we've, you know, we've we've taken out stumps that have been like rotting in the ground. No termites. Carpenter ants, but no termites. Patches. Yeah, you leave a board on the ground, right? Like there's some there's some wood that was left here from the previous owner that's been there for years on the ground. Not a termite. Why so that's really cool. Billy? Um, grandma said something. Do you plan on deer hunting this year? <coughs> um, I don't know. It depends. I need to, I need to get my driver's license so I can get my hunting license. And fishing license. And fishing license. And so I am, I'm about out of time for getting my license. So I need to get that really soon. And then we'll see. I'm right here on our property. But they There's haven't, we haven't planted there. a garden yet. So that's probably why they're not here. And Tuck scares them off. I've only yeah. seen a couple on our side, on our acres. Any family vacation planned? Um, we're thinking yes. about, we're trying to plan a trip to Indonesia uh, at the end of the year. So I don't know if that's called a family vacation, but it's uh, a trip to Indonesia. After your house is finished, whether to keep using the generator or solar panels, or can you get regular electricity? We plan to continue to use the solar panels, supplement it with the generator as needed, and Get so more probably. yeah, and so we'll see how it um, how it goes, but uh, that's the plan anyway for now. What's up? Five twenty-five. The guy asked. Oh, five twenty-five p.m. Let's see. Tennessee. Hi from Tennessee. Better get down to DMV quick. I know it. I better. Somebody from Kalimantan, Indonesia. Cool. Keep wet area away from the house and ants will not come in. Okay. Thank you. We will shall try that. And we're out of comments. That's it. We're out of comments, guys. No more comments. Hey, who nobody wrote in here that they're an Indone that they're a channel from here. Only one guy. One guy did? Hawaiian Hillbilly. Hawaiian hillbilly. Yep. Is in. You're in Idaho. 
I thought he was in Hawaii. He was a hillbilly that moved to Hawaii. That's what I thought. He just said that he was a YouTuber. Oh. Um, yeah, fireplace, wood stove, Jacob, is the idea. Like a fireplace, but, you know, yeah. closed and steel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, no smoke. Yeah, so who are they? I saw some others. Oh, good, okay. Um, Imagine Acre Wood is one. Uh, who else that I can think? I'm losing my mind. Um, Let me just look at it. I can't. Okay, so that's going to read them here. I, I took my shirt off, but that would be impolite, probably. Okay. Uh, Living the Dream Homestead. Yep, Living the Dream Homestead. Hidden Valley Homestead. Oh, North Country Off Grid. Yep. Imagine Acre Wood. Uh, Good Simple Living homes and Homesteading. Uh, Bear Paw Timber. Hmm. Quality of Life. Idaho Hillbilly. Survival lo sur survival Survival Survivalology. Survivalology 101. Uh, Martin Johnson. Saws Prospecting. Saws Prospecting? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Tom's Blackwood. Mm. Homesteading Family. Let's talk about prepping. Uh, North Idaho Homesteading and Essential Mountain Homesteading. There you go. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah. Um, that's not on the shirt as well. Another channel. Um, their older videos are kind of more along the, the building and the building kind of side of things would be uh, Pure Living for Life. Their older um, their older videos you could check out. Uh, their newer ones, not so much. You know, they've kind of finished their building process for now. Um, yeah, so anyway, those are some of them. <sighs> Good, man. You just start a youtube channel before you get land talk about the process of of um your journey right like how how where are you thinking about buying land what research are you doing what tips would you have for people that are looking for land because like that's what you're in the process for of doing um how you're preparing to right to build your home uh what are you learning about how are you learning it um there's all kinds of good information that you could share with people before you get your land, right? You could start before then, start building an audience before then. That's about, I'd, I would encourage you to start tomorrow or today if you have time. Have a great day and keep smiling. Okay, bye, Grandma. Bye, Grandma. <laughs> all right, here's a funny question. All right, it says, hi, Martin, how are you doing? Could you tell something about hobo life? Hobo? Hobo, isn't that say hobo life? Hobo life. Yeah. Uh, okay. Hobo life. It's kind of like homeless people are, it's we like an old. Home. <laughs> no, but yeah, maybe it's, I don't know what he's asking, but hobos, right? Like that's kind of an impolite term for homeless people, I guess. Um, yeah. What are they, what's life like? Uh, it's pretty bad, right? Being homeless. Yeah, we wouldn't know. Tips about looking for land. Do we have any tips for looking for land? Looking yeah, actually, um, there is a blog post on our website. It's called Down to Earth Homesteaders. We talk about the process that we went through on finding <coughs> this land. And through that process, right, we share a lot of tips that we used. And so I would start with the big picture, right? Like the big picture, the whole, start with the world. Um, where do you want to homestead and why, right? So I'm assuming that you would choose the United States, but it could be Canada or maybe you want to move down to Costa Rica, right? Or Panama and start trying to homestead. Um, there's reasons to do that. There's reasons not to, right? So first of all, choose your, your country that you want to homestead in and then look at that country. Let's take the United <coughs> States, right? You've got several different regions in the United States. You got the Northeast, you got the, the Southeast, you've got the Midwest. You've got the Southwest, you've got the West Coast, you've got the Inner Mountain States, which is where we are, Inner Mountain States. Each of those areas has their pluses and minuses, right? And so you need to decide out of those areas, which area do I like the best and why? And what's your criteria for that, right? We want it to be um, within a day's drive of our family, right? When most of our family is in California, meaning our parents, right? And so we could be there in a day if we pushed it. And so this area was within, within that region, right? We wouldn't have moved to the Northeast or the Southeast really. Um, and so, right, so you gotta pick that region. Then within that region, 
each state has its own pluses and minuses. Depends on what you're looking for, right? We were looking for a state that was conservative, that was um, homeschool friendly, that was um, defended the Second Amendment. And Idaho fit that. And Montana would have been good as well. Wyoming would have been good for those kind of things. Washington, not so much. Oregon, not so much, right? Um, and so, sorry to you, Washington and Oregon people. But, um, right, so Idaho fit that for us. It was good. And then you need to start looking at your budget, right? I mean, that's going to be a major factor. How much money do you have to spend? And so, right, you need to look at that. You want to live in Idaho? Well, that's cool. But some areas are way more expensive than other areas, right? And so you just need to look at all those types of things. You want to live off grid? Well, you need a way to create power there, right? Up here, solar's good, but it's a challenge in the wintertime because the days are so short. But in the summertime, man, we got tons of sun. So, right, everywhere's different. You want to you want you want to do wind power? Maybe you want to move to Nebraska or Kansas, where you've got wind all the time. You can generate all the power you want, right, with a wind turbine. Um, all different. There's all different kinds of things looking for land. But go to a realtor and talk to them. Tell them what you're looking for, and um, they'll help you out, man. That's their job. That's what they do. Let's see. Is it possible to build a hydro plant there? Not on our property, it's not. But in other places, it is. I think there are um, some people, elders from the church up in Bonners Ferry that live close to us, and they do hydropower. Um, and so, yeah, it's possible if you have a creek running or a big enough spring. Let's see. Uh, uh, psh, 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 psh. Keep smiling, y'all. Rick D. All right. 69 year old and on social security it takes a long time to get started yeah for sure it takes a long time where did you get your solar power system we pieced it together from uh different different sources um some from wholesale solar some from amazon um i, sh I need to put together a list for you guys of all of the so i need to do a video a solar tour video i just haven't done it yet and part of it is because it's not the, it's not the safest thing right now. I haven't. It's still temporary. It's planet. We got to move it. So I didn't put it together with every safety feature possible. And so I'm a little bit of I don't know. Maybe a little bit embarrassed about that. Jonathan asked something up there. Jonathan asked something. Yeah, up right there. If I went to Indonesia someday, where should I go first? Oh man! All right, you guys from Indonesia, tell him where he needs to go. You're going to get a million answers probably. Oh, yeah. Um, it depends on what you want to do. If you want to go for tourist stuff, right? Like if you want beach, resort type places, I go to Bali. Mm -hmm. If you want history and like ancient temple, like national park temple kind of places, then like Jogja would be good because you've got um, these ancient, they're... Um, UNESCO, UNESCO, like World Heritage sites there that are really interesting. Um, but anyway, let's see. Do you have a drone tour of your property? Yes, I do. It's on my channel. So um, it's called Seven Acre Off-Grid Property Tour. And so it's on my channel. Drone flies over. But I mean, it's just trees, really. But it's a cool it's a cool little video. Give you a whole tour of the property. It's old, though. Yeah, it's before we started building. So anyway, where else could you go? I mean, there's lots of places. If you want to see a huge city, right, metropolitan area, 25 million people, go to Jakarta. But so packed. It's a city, you know. I mean, if you want to go see a city, you could go there. Um, but I'd recommend, yeah, those. If you want to go see, like, like um, you know, people that are still traditionally native, then Papua would be good. You could go up to um, Wamena in Papua and uh, visit the Dani tribe up there. That's something. I've never done that. Um, also, if you go to Sulawesi and Toraja, they've got some, some pretty unique cultural experiences that you can go there. And they've got like, yeah, it's burial traditions and stuff like that. That's really interesting and beautiful. Beautiful up there too in Toraja. Um, lots of good places. But first, I'd go with me to Jogja. At the end of this this semester, with um, 
Maybe who else is going? Maybe Brittany. Brittany. And uh, maybe um Ethan. oh maybe Ethan. Maybe Ethan and Brittany are going as far as we know right now. Um tickets. I would plan on a thousand dollars round trip. Probably around there. But just you could just Google the ticket price from <clears throat> wherever you'd be leaving from. Maybe Memphis <clears throat> or Nashville. Um Check solar companies for crack cells. Huh. Get them cheap. That's cool. That's a good idea. Let's see. If you think about it, off-grid house is actually the future. It could be. It could be. Depends on... Hopefully it goes in a good way to get there. But if the power grid goes down and the world as we know it comes to an end, societal collapse and zombie apocalypse, <laughs> yeah, then everybody will be off-grid. See, traffic is crazy. Oh, yeah, no doubt traffic's crazy in Jakarta. Oh, yeah. That's 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 a cultural experience right there, man. Um, hey, oh. from Taraja. Hey, how's You're it going? House. That's cool. Let's see. Any new information about Durian? Oh, Hurricane. No, I don't have any, actually, um, other than what's on the news. I heard that it's a Category 5 now, but I don't know if that's true or not. I just heard somebody at McDonald's saying that. You did? Mm-hmm. Was it McDonald's? It was church. Somebody No, somebody said it was a Category 4 there. And then they said... Uh, it was actually five. Oh. Michael did. Well, maybe it was a church. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Well, I heard somebody else say it, too. Oh, that's cool. Let's see. Do you have to calculate the solar power in winter? Yeah, you ought to, really. Um, we went with what we could afford, and we can expand it later. And so, uh, in my opinion, it's better to have some than nothing. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, but you should calculate it for the winter, for sure. I mean, like... Just if you contact a solar company like um, like um, Alti or Wholesale Solar, they're gonna they can help you calculate the size that you need. First, you need to know what you want to use it for, right? Like, do you want to power a refrigerator, a TV? How many hours do you want to power a TV? Or how many hours do you want to power lights? You need to do that a load calculation. And then you can figure out what you need based on your location and average sun hours during the day and during the winter. Yeah. Or you could just buy something and try to make it work. What do you miss about being on grid? I know. One thing. Which we could solve if we had water here. We just And it's not, it's not an on-grid, off-grid problem. It's our personal thing. And so, um, but this is the one thing that I miss currently and, but it's not really because we're off grid, uh, is being able to take a 30 minute shower, a 30 minute hot shower. Oh. Yeah. I miss yeah. that. We could do it if we, ha I mean, we could do it, but we'd have to get water more often. Right. Mm -hmm. And so we don't, because we don't want to just, we don't want to have to hot water that much. Also AC. AC. you get hot. You get so hot. You want AC? It is nice. You like it? And in my room gets hot. And sometimes yeah. at night it does get warm. Yeah, so, I mean, these guys are doing their homeschooling in their tents. Yeah. And so when the sun shines on a tent, man, you know how hot that gets. Luckily and unluckily, my tent is in the shade. Like, it's right by next to trees. Let's show them. Okay. Bam. Yeah, my tent That's is this right, tent right there. Yeah. And the sun rises that direction. So mine doesn't get hot. It doesn't even get warm until 12, which yeah. is nice. But also, it doesn't get warm until 12, and it's cold in the morning. <laughs> it just gets warm so fast because the sun's directly on it. Yeah, Red Poppy Ranch is another great channel. Um, highly recommend watching, watching him. Um, he does a really good job on his videos. Totally different style than what we do, um, but... Definitely a good channel to watch. Let's see. Have you seen the Jesus the Redeemer statue in Taraja? Man, I want to say... I can't remember. I, th I have like... I have a feeling that I saw it. But I can't remember. I don't know if it was built. I don't know. I just don't know. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I have a bad... Bad memory sometimes for some things. I can't remember... I imagine that it's super huge. It's two meters taller than the one in Rio. I don't think I saw it then. 
That's big. I think I would have remembered that. Are you going to put air conditioning in your house? Not planning on it. Get Seth a hammock. I have and a, a hammock. And a lap desk. You do I, have a hammock. Yeah, it's in storage though. Where'd you get your hammock? Cambodia. Yeah. It's cool. It's 540. What are you saying? Did we need to get off of here? You want to you wanna eat dinner or something? <laughs> no. We've been on here a long time. 70 minutes, man. Yikes. I know. Oh, Handyman. Yep, yeah, that's another good channel. See, mm -hmm. you should try wind generation. Yeah. I don't know that we get enough wind here, mm -hmm. though. I mean, it's not like super windy. Uh-uh. Maybe in the winter it'll be super windy. I don't know. We'll have to see. If we get enough wind, then that'd be a good idea. Treehouse study room. That'd be cool. That would be cool. We don't have a lot of thick trees, though. Yeah, not like really big, uh -uh. big ones for a tree. But you could build it between like three. Uh -huh. Like if you had like three trees, you could build a triangle floor between those three trees. Yeah, that'd be cool. Or like four trees. That Why don't you do cool. that? That could be your YouTube channel. That could be Seth's YouTube channel. How to build a tree house. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, that'd be fun. Enjoy dinner. Yep. We're all doing good, crystal clear. Any more comments, guys? We're going to go ahead and get off of here if you guys don't have any more questions. Tux. Tux is barking. There's probably a deer over there or something. Deer, person, car. Turkey. Woodpecker. That looks bird. like it, Seth. Looks like you're getting your wish. Oh. Looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, that'd be fun. Our, actually... Good, simple living and homesteading. Ducks. I already got the video uploaded. Go it's already them. uploaded. I, I need a thumbnail, though. So I gotta wait for Ducks, Jules, Ducks. and tomorrow morning we'll make the thumbnail. But um, yeah, it's already uploaded, scheduled, ready to go. Tux, come on. Greetings from the Netherlands. Dutch, sweet. Ducks. The Netherlands. We had a friend from the Netherlands. Okay. Um, he was hanging out with us quite a bit, going to church with us in um, Jogja, and his name was... Uh, oh. Isn't that terrible, man, when you start to tell us? I have a friend, but now I can't remember his name. Oh, it's been years. Man, what was his years. name? Years. Years. <sighs> terrible. He's in, he's in some of my videos from Indonesia. Um do, do, do. I can't remember. It's like a Dutch name. But not... But not like a totally foreign yeah. name. Man, what was his name? I can't remember. I'm sorry, guys. That's terrible. Have a it's great dinner. Hugs years, for your wife. Though. I know, huh? Bye, guys. I think we're still friends on Facebook, though. <laughs> Just do a picture for us. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to take a family picture and put it on there, probably. But we don't have the family all here yet, or right now, so I'll have to do it tomorrow morning. Miss Indonesia... Or Mr. Speak Indonesian? Um, sometimes. Sometimes. All right. I guess that's it, man. Duck says bye. Do, 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 All right, guys. Do. Hope you have a really great day. Keep smiling. And we'll see you tomorrow because we got a video coming out tomorrow. All right? That sounds good. How do we end this thing? <laughs> X, bye, guys. End.